fam. Fam, Papa, we gotta talk. What are your plans? What are your goals? How many good boys are you gonna be? How many good boys can one Papa be? Kisses. Papa's got a plan. Now uh, it's time to talk about my plan. I got a lot of questions. Dude, I, I can't freaking speak English anymore. I got a lot of questions after I made that video last week um, saying, you know, sh I live in the past. Should I make uh, keep making Navy videos? Some of you guys were like, JT, you know, what are your plans after you finish college? So after you're done on the GI Bill. And that time's coming up very soon. What am I doing? I am blowing Dodge. I'm getting out of town. Whatever you call it, I am running away from my responsibilities. Arm feels good. And I realize I haven't really talked to you guys that much about my future plans, what I want to do for a career, what's my life going to be after this whole Navy thing. Because after the GI Bill is over, um, I'm not going to be getting E5BAH E5 anymore, basic housing allowance. I've been very fortunate the past couple months to be able to you know, stop working all my part-time jobs and just focus on YouTube. YouTube kind of now supplements for me as a part-time job, you know, while I'm in school. My main source of income is still from the Navy. But once that stops in the fall, hopefully I graduate, hopefully I finish all my classes, which, you know, I should. I don't see why I wouldn't. If I pass all my classes in the fall, I'll be getting my degree after that. And, um, what's next? My job is to speak to clients. Um, on the phone about uh, quantities and uh, type of copier paper. So before we talk about everything though, I just want to say it always wasn't rainbows and gumdrops and freaking unicorn farts. When I first got out in 2014, in 2015, I was, you know, I was not broke, but I was struggling a little bit, you know, for money. You know, YouTube wasn't a thing at that point. I was only getting uh, maybe five dollars, five, ten dollars a month from YouTube revenue. That definitely wasn't a thing. It was, you know, it was a hobby. It was something that I dreamed to do. Luckily, I'm now able to do that and the hard work's paid off these past couple years. But like I said, I was hustling. I was doing all these different things. I was donating freaking plasma in the valley in Los Angeles. I was driving down into the valley donating plasma twice a week. You know, and I was getting probably like $400, $450 a month donating plasma twice a week for four weeks out of the month. So that was like $450. Last summer, if you guys watched my channel, you saw I was a barback. I worked in a bar at a steakhouse and I was barbacking. I worked at my veterans resource office at my university. I also worked at my freaking bookstore at my college on the campus. I was doing all these different things, hustling, trying to get myself in a position to where I can, you know, do my dream part-time job. Am I going to be able to do YouTube? Am I going to be able to use my degree? You know, my degree is in communications, uh, business communications with an emphasis in TV and film. So it is pretty cool that the degree that I'm taking right now helps with what I'm doing on YouTube and it's all being paid for by the Navy. So it's all kind of one big symbiotic, symbiotic relationship. I guess I'm like a freaking bird on a hippo. But yeah guys, let me talk about a little uh, about my plans and what I think I'm gonna do after I graduate college in the fall. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do YouTube full time. You know, if I'm able to, gonna be generating enough revenue to being able to support a family. I would love to get into something like marketing and advertising. Kind of use the skills that I've developed through YouTube, through talking to uh, you know an audience, through establishing relationships. I think I have a lot of experience you know, in the whole social media marketing advertising sector. Um, I would love to run like marketing campaigns, advertising campaigns, um, you know, kind of be like a lead on that. And I think a company would be freaking crazy not to hire someone that's a content creator and that's grown, you know, their own kind of channel just from my Navy and life experiences. So yeah, guys, those are pretty much my plans. You know, like I said, it's not always freaking easy. There was a lot of times after I got out in 2015, even last year in 2016, where I was not really struggling, but you know, I was nervous. I didn't know what the future held. I was grinding a lot. I was trying to set myself up for success. And now in 2017, you know, the pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together. Everything's, you know, a lot more smooth. And of course I wouldn't be here without the support, you know, of my wife and my boy. Papa! Come here, boy! Papa, I just want to say you've been a real big help. And um, 
all your good boys, all the good boys have really, yeah, yeah, you've really helped me, Papa. You've been a great man, a great role model, my boy, Papa. I hope you enjoyed this little video, this little chat. I do have a lot of big video plans, a lot of awesome videos coming to the channel very, very soon, this weekend, next week. I still got three more weeks of classes, like three more weeks, and uh, a wake up. So, we're getting closer. I got another test today that I should be studying for, actually. So, uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I'm gonna edit it, hit the books, do some studying. I gotta go to school now from noon to nine o'clock at night. Love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm trying to do videos every day, man. Like, screw this every other day thing. It doesn't feel right. I feel like I need to talk to you guys every day, man. So much goes on in 24 hours. Every day. It's every day, bro. It's every day, Papa. It's every day, Papa. In my